guys, Jen here and welcome back to Bluntly Honestly. And if you are new, hi, hello and welcome. And before I get started, go ahead and do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe and share this video with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. So I apologize if there is a bit of an echo in the room. I'm filming in my living room because it's a bit more spacious for doing acrylics. It kind of, the, the smell of the acrylics really kind of clouds out the room if I do it in my makeup room. So I'm gonna be doing my makeup, my nails here in the living room. And in today's video, I'm gonna be using a brand new product. These are the Neon Skull Toxic Loose Powders from Makeup and Murder. They're not really toxic, just the name because they are bright and neon. I'm going to be using pink and purple. I may end up just using the pink, but I may switch the purple. The really cool thing about this powder is it is also UV activated. So after I finish my nails, I'm gonna go grab my UV light and show you guys how they look. I'm not really gonna talk while doing it because I'm just gonna show you guys how they apply. I'm gonna be using my brand new nail brush. This was from Born or Pretty. It's an interchangeable nail brush and it comes with 10 different tips to connect. So it's actually kind of cool. It's on sale for $8. If you buy this from Born Pretty, I will warn you right ahead. It is a Chinese-based website, so it I ordered these in September. They did not arrive. I messaged them in January, early uh, in late December, early January. My order was lost, so they had to resend it to me. So order at your own risk. Anyways, I'm going to be using this tip right here. This is a pointed acrylic brush. I think it's going to be a lot easier to get into the curves of the finger now. And I was talking to another person who did their nails using this powder because this powder is eye safe, but it is also nail safe. So you can use it as eyeshadow or paint for your nails. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this with my normal acrylic powder. This is pink, not white, so I, I hope it doesn't mess up the color but we will find out. So I'm gonna put a little bit in this empty container. Not a whole lot. And then I'm going to take the pink powder. That is super, super bright. Like, I hope you guys can see how bright that is. So I'm just gonna pour some into here. I don't wanna use a whole lot. That should be fine. And then I'm just gonna take this old busted nail filer and just mix it up. Oh my goodness, look how bright that turned. Hopefully mixing it like this didn't take away from the UV. Fingers crossed, so I'm gonna put the lid back on there so I don't lose any more powder. And then I'm going to take my, oh, by the way, this acrylic powder is from Mia Secret. Um, this is my favorite acrylic powder. I feel like it lasts longer than the Kiss powder I was using previously. This is the powder I've been using for the past three, four months. The liquid manometer, which is the, is what activates the acrylic, is also me a secret. You can buy these both off of Amazon. So I'm gonna pour a little bit into this little disc. And we are gonna get started. I can already tell this is gonna to need to get built up. But so far I am liking the color. So I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's applying a little patchy. Like it's really, really thick and built up here, but then as I pull it down my nail, it's not really wanting to go. 
So I'm gonna let that dry and move on and come back and keep filling it in. So I'm really liking how bright and pigmented these are, but it takes quite a bit of buildup. I think that's all the layers that I'm going to do of the pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this hand and then we'll come back and do the purple. So this purple is coming out so, so pretty and I'm really wishing I had just done my whole hand in purple. Like, look at that. That is gorgeous. This is gonna look really, really pretty under the UV light. So these are the finished nails and I'm loving that neon color, but I'm gonna go see how they look under the black light. So one second. All right, so I have my black light right there. I'm gonna turn the lights off and show you guys my nails. Look how cool that is. They are super, super bright under the black light. I wish the purple was a little bit more bright.
So that is it for these neon colorful UV activated nail art. If you guys like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And if you want to join the hashtag butterfly squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And I wish you guys lots of love and whiskers and I will see you the next one. Love you. Bye. Thinking it's time I throw all caution to